everyone welcome back to my channel and i'm just gonna make a quick video on essence transfer you may have been playing the game for quite some time so i will start off this tutorial with the, the assumption that you haven't played the game yet so in 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 diablo immortal you will have your armor now oh, your armor is ranging from normal to uh, magical unique and set item and finally the legendaries the legendary items are usually found in this section over here um, they're found uh, drops in either bosses dungeons sometimes ordinary monsters will drop them like elite monsters uh, sometimes in chest or in in quest or you could have legendaries from the battle pass or whatever now, what makes them very sought after, especially for your character? It's because they will change the skills of your... Uh, they will change the effects of your skills, ranging from how it is activated, how much damage it will give, and what are the effects of each skill. Now, for example, this one, I would have... The, I have this legendary here that says, uh, with the legendary effect, black hole radius increased by 20%, which makes the the black hole a bit larger now why is this very important it's because each effect of the legendary will help you farm better or defeat bo bosses faster or defeat other players so it depends on the situation that you want to use your skills i'm just going to give you an example uh, we'll have here my arcane wind first i'm going to remove the item that uh, has changed it so let's remove remove so originally my arcane wind needs to be charged and it works like this but when i when i equip the item again which is the wind shaper uh, the wind shaper will change it into this one hungering wind inscription arcane wind now summons a tornado that follows enemies and continually damages all enemies in its path so we're going to equip that one so my arcane wind will become a skill that can be targeted on a specific area okay and the changes in the skill let's go there uh, you will be able to see the before and after so you don't have to worry under arcane wind the original one was that if you charge it you have an initial if you didn't charge the skill you have an initial damage of three three thousand and charging it to the maximum will increase it to 5,136. But what if you use the inscription? It now becomes a tornado that will follow enemies for five seconds and will deal continually deal 10,000 damage. So aside from the fact that it will modify the skill, sometimes the modification will give you an increase of damage for the skill. Sometimes the damage will become zero depending on the skill. So why is this important again? You can have the builds the builds these are you can see here the recommended builds this just are just suggestions for you guys if you don't you don't have to follow them it's a good suggestion because it will teach you the synergies of the skill the synergies with the armor legendary gem and the set items so let's take a look so these are the three recommended builds you have here for the wind you have your Prismatic Crystals of PvE, and then the PvP the recommended build is Ruthless Control PvP. Currently, I am not following any of the builds because I have my own configuration. So there's like a ton of configuration that you can do. And you can see here on the lower left how the skill changes even though it's it's the same skill that I would have here. Uh, this is the Arcane Wind. Uh, this is the build that I use for PvP, especially in Battleground and Vault Defense. So you can actually switch from one PV once one build to another, and it doesn't mean that you have to fill up your inventory which with each effect available. For example, uh, uh, you could have an uh, an uh, the helmet that will give you uh, scorch modification you could put it in your inventory but that would fill up your inventory so fast so what diablo did is they have this little npc over here you will be able to find this npc up let me just remove that one you'll be able to find this npc in west march only 
and she is located here, right near the Rakis Plaza Waypoint. You can only find this NPC in Westmarsh, and no, and uh, and she is not available in in all of the other maps. So what makes her very important is that you can have your own essence library. This is your essence library over here. It's tabbed, so you have the helmet. You have here a lot of I've already gotten most of the helmet, shoulders, chest, pants, main weapon, and offhand weapon. So the only one that I'm missing right now is the Cavill's Grand Revelation. It's the only one. When you you when you um, extract an essence, it will destroy the item or the legendary item that you would have, which is why when you are extracting, you have to be very careful. It's either you extract the duplicates with the lower attributes, or um, you just have to leave it, leave it alone until you find an, an, an extra item. So when you extract, you just click on this part over here. It will let you choose the item if it's in your inventory. It has to be in your inventory, by the way. It has to be identified. Uh, I would suggest not to put any sockets, uh, socketed gems in it. Just make sure it's all clear. Even the rank has to be zero. We uh, I haven't seen yet what will happen if you have a rank legendary item and then you sacrifice or you extract the essence. Now, once you have the item, put it here, extract for 3000 gold, and you will have the essence in your library. Once you have the essence in your li library, you can transfer this one to any of the le future legendary items that you would have that have better attributes. So let's take a look at how to transfer and you can do that by using the inherit feature. You only have to tap the item and then inherit and then tap over here and you will see your library. For example, I want to change the skill into this one. Summons a tornado that damages enemies in a line. Just to show you that it will change my skill. Okay. So it's now changed. It will change the, the graphics also. It will change the game. As you can see, my character is now holding a, a sword. Now the skill also has changed. Instead of being able to choose or being able to charge, it's now a straight line and I can do it twice the, but the damage has decreased I'm going to show you guys so instead of 10,000 continuously for five seconds it's now 4,000 uh, per hit and you can only hit like once so, uh, for this one but you will be able to hit multiple monsters in a line which is very uh, useful if you are in a tight corridor so uh, my current skill setup, I'm going to just return back. And re so what if you want to return the essence of the original uh, weapon that you would have? You don't have to worry about that one. This will not permanently overwrite your essence. You can actually click inherit and then you can return the original. Oh wait, not that one. And you can return the original. So every time you transfer essence, the the main uh, equipment will not be destroyed. It will still be in your inventory. So it doesn't matter if it is upgraded or ha has sockets. It will be safe in your inventory as long as you don't extract it. So you won't you won't be able to extract anymore if the essence is in your library. Let me just return this to the original wind shaper because this is my farming set. So this is my farming set. If I wanted to go to, uh, let, let, I'm going to show you the effect of my farming set. I do this one first. Um, use the black hole to gra gra grab all of my enemies, the monsters. And then fire off with meteor. And then scorch. And then finishing off with an arcane wind. What if I want to change into my PvP set? Which is what I use in arenas. So I'm going to go to the essence transfer inherit and then i'm going to start uh, my changing all of my uh, legendaries the first thing i would do is since i'm going to be using the ray of frost i'm going to be choosing this one let me see kinds cryo mantle okay and then my black hole will remain my meteor shower i will change this into this one an icy meteor 
So you don't have to pay any more uh, with your gold. Everything is free. Then I'm going to change this one into my Negaton blade, which allows me to absorb nearby enemy projectiles. And my PvP set is complete. So this is my PvP set. Let's take a look at the effects. First, I'm going to change the skill of my Ray of Frost. If you have seen Wizards, the Ray of Frost is originally a channeling skill, but now it has become uh, a single uh, single beam blast. So I would do the black hole first, followed by my Ray of Frost, and then finishing off with an Icy Meteor. So again, changing the, the legendary will also change the effects of the skill. So it, Meteor originally stuns for three seconds over here, but in the Icy Meteor, that stun for three seconds has been reduced. No, it has been removed completely. So that's how you change your essence. Mastering your essence is very important. Do not salvage your legendary. Extract the essence first and then salvage the legendary if there are duplicates, okay? And if they are weaker with your current um, setup or gear you will know the the gear is weaker for example this one uh, you, uh side by side you'll be able to see i didn't learn this one early on in the game and i was so stupid and salvaged a lot of uh, uh items that were equal in 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 value and uh, i didn't extract them so <laughs> it took me some time but thankfully uh, i saw the npc when i was walking around and managed to learn what essence essence mastery was so you will be able to gauge the strength of your of your equipment by looking at the score so this score is 5102 but this one is 6000 plus the rank up it has become 8873 even though i would have here 57 intelligence which is very near to 51 54 willpower and this is fortitude. Uh, this one is considerably better compared to the uh, this one that is, that is in my inventory. But what if this was stronger and I wanted a different effect? Then you would use the essence, uh, mastery, and transfer and in inherit or whatever. And I guess that's about it. If you want to be guided with your essence mastery, you can choose this one for the recommended builds. This is, this is my PvP build, and this is technically my farming, farming build, but I have a different set of uh, equipment over here. So this is your, just your guide, you will have here the legendaries that you need. These are the gems that you can equip that will maximize the effects of your skills and the set items that has the specific uh, the specific uh, effect that will also help with either incre increasing the effect of your crowd control or increasing the damage or whatever other effects that you can find with the set items now that's it guys i'm gonna walk through you again with the whole process because i need to use my farming farming uh, set i'm gonna return my arcane wind okay i'm gonna go back to essence transfer i'm gonna choose inherit this is the one that i need to change i will change it back to meteor radius increase okay and then this one is good this one is good this one i will change into the continuous damage type so meteor now continually damages enemies in an area but no longer stuns so this is what i meant with saying that it will also change the effect of your skills although it's uh, quite powerful because it is a, an aoe skill it no longer stuns so it's not good if you are in a pvp or in crowd control is very important so this is what happens my meteor from a ball falling down from the earth and freezing or chilling this is now my meteor the area of effect is large because i have the essence that increases the radius by 20 percent so this is now the effect of my meteor 
So guys, thank you very much for watching. I would appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Click the notification bell icon. Share this video if you want with your friends. If you have any uh, to, to settle any uh, argument on how to change the essence, you can use this one. Thank you again and uh, I'll see you in the game.